is something at the door. Nope. Okay. This keeps happening. Where spooky things are going on and everything. So, seems like this is gonna be a habit of spooky things going on before I start the video. So, hey guys, it's Brittany, and so today's going to be a dream time video, and today I'll be sharing with you this other dream I've had of spirit selling of the Simran dream. And this one, I've got to say, is the third and last dream I've had of this, um, what seems like a sequel to Spirit. But, now, the first dream was of the story and working with those within the DreamWorks studio. And the second dream was of seeing the animation coming to life of these characters, including Spirit, Rain, and all these other characters, as well just seeing the animation coming to life. And this one, the third dream of the sequel um, to Spirit, is where is the music. So I gotta say that now this one's going to be a quite short one of this dream, but um, in this dream it shows where, I think it's, you know, like that music studio where you go inside and everyone is playing the is instruments and you see the music composer conducting the music for um, either a show or, or a movie, so I was in that kind of music studio where they would compose the, the music, um, you know, the instrumental music. So I was in that. And so I remember, because um, I think we had Brian Adams on board to sing the songs for Spirit and Hans Zimmer was there. And he was actually working when when this was going on, so he was there, everyone had the instruments ready, so of course that they would they were already working. Um, and I gotta say the music just sounded great. And it just sounded like um, it, the, the music just sounded like there was a, like it was adventurous, but it was also like there's emotion in the music and it was just so great. It was amazing. And I gotta say that um, watching this, so watching Hans Zimmer work where he composes the music of the instrumental music and since he was doing this uh, for the sequel to Spirit, it was just great to watch and I was just I was just so excited. I was. I was. Just, I remember. I was just like happy and just so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh! Like everything is just coming together for the sequel. Like we, um, because the animation was already to go. So of course, because what they do is that they, um, there's a screen, and so whatever the music composer sees, that I think that um they have the music, uh. I think they have the music ready so they know what music to use the scene for um, to, uh, you know, to, to bring it to life, you know, with, uh, you know, with emotion, with feeling, uh, like all these different things that makes the scene come alive, whether if it's action, adventure, or thriller, horror, romance, or something funny, comedy, you know, or whether if it's to feel a certain emotion, to feel sad, you know, or to laugh, or, 
or to feel excitement, you know, or to feel scared, like whatever it might be, that's what they do. And I just think that's amazing. I really do. I I think that's just amazing how they do that and they that when they compose the music they bring those scenes to life with the music and they know um it's like they know like what um I think the tone and the I think they know the the kind of sound of the music like like this sound of the music is gonna go with this just to make it really sad or scary or you know um adventurous or you know to fill it with uh action you know or like the, it with any emotion and that's what i really love about it so yes i gotta say that i of course uh, i love music um I gotta say, when it comes to movies and music, I love them both equally because you gotta have music with with what you're seeing, you know, to make it feel even more of that, you know, of what's going on. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I'm losing my voice for some reason. It's weird. Okay, so I am gonna have coffee soon because I need <laughs> coffee. So I think what I can try to do is maybe get a maybe get a cup of coffee while I do my videos. So I think that will help. <laughs> I really do, uh, without a doubt. So anyway, but yes, um, I I love music as much as I love movies and yes yeah, so I love not only the like the songs with the lyrics but I also love uh, the instrumental music as well because instrumental music can be where it's very where you feel those emotions you know and it just brings out like it brings the scene to life depending on the scene as I mentioned, like if it brings something, if it's like an action scene going on, something adventurous, something, if it's uh, something thrilling, um, horrifying, you know, terrifying, something eerie, something dramatic, intense, um, something, even something funny. Um, no matter what it is, even if it's something like with romance, so, and it also brings with any emotion as well, like, if it's something really sad and it makes you feel so sad, like, not just with the music, but also with the music and with what you're seeing, and to, where it just makes it even more sad, or if it makes it maybe more intense, and you feel tense, or it makes it more dramatic or you know and then you feel with whatever it is how you're feeling because of the music and because what you're seeing of that particular scene with the music and it just blends in so well and it just comes to life so they mix well very well together you know like like cake with cake and frosting because without Without frosting, you're just gonna have like a nude cake, and who wants that, you know? Because having cake with frosting is just a perfect combination, and that's how I see it with um, TV shows, movies, with music, instrumental music, because you get this really great story of the TV show or movie along with really great music and it just blends in so well together and it brings it to life and it makes you feel whatever it is that is going to make you feel with any emotion at all and that's what I love about it that's what I love about 
shows, movies, is not only with a great story and cast and their performances, but also with the music that blends in so well with it and it just brings it to life, you know? And that's what I truly love about it with great storytelling and the cast, their performances, but plus also with amazing music that brings the story and the performances to life and it just makes you it makes you feel like you're watching this story that feels real but I think in a way those stories are real even though they're not real in the sense whoops sorry even though they're not real in the sense of a true story but to me I feel they are just much they are just as much of a real story just to bring it to life and to make you feel whatever it is that you're going to be feeling and that you feel for what's going on you feel for the characters and not even hearing the music it just moves you and it'll move you with it in any way with any emotion and I think that's what's really amazing about it and I just love that I really do and so um, so that's what was going on in this dream is that as because I remember seeing a little bit of this clip short clip of spirit of the sequel and it looked great and as I'm hearing the music because Hans Zimmer was already doing his work you know, conducting um, the music for Spirit and I can see everyone playing the instruments as as this was going on and seeing this, like I said, I was just amazed by it and I remember just watching and I'm like, okay, I see what's going on of this scene to the sequel Spirit but I also hear the music and I see them playing as well but seeing it and hearing the music at the same time, it was just amazing and I was just so happy to be there and I was just so excited and yeah now the thing is it felt so real that to me it just felt like wow I can't believe I'm here like this is happening like if this is just a dream come true but then at some point before anything else could happen before they could even finish and whatnot that at some point before anything else could happen after that that the dream ended and when the dream was over I woke up and so when I woke up I looked around my room and I was like confused and I was just like wait but I was wasn't I just there like seeing this clip of the sequel to Spirit and hearing the music that Hans Zimmer was composing like seeing him work and hearing the music which sounded amazing it sounded great you know and because that he's also one of my favorite music composers because I've heard his work in other movies and it's just amazing and it, the, the way he composes the music um, for what he does um, for movies is just amazing. Like what he did for The Lion King, the, the original, and Inception, Batman Begins, I believe even The Dark Knight as well, and even with uh, The Prince of Egypt was also amazing and even with spirit like so yeah it, he's oh, my favorite um a along with other um great music composers as well but yes i like i feel like whenever i hear musics i i feel like at times i can recognize when it's him when it's when i hear him his music but then other times it's so well <laughs> is so great that sometimes I don't recognize it at first but then once I see his name at the end credits of a certain movie I'm like uh, that was him like 
oh my gosh and that, that was amazing you know and I'm just like wow like he's just also one of the best music composers um, along with other um, amazing ones as well so yes yeah, so after waking up I was like ah oh, like I thought this was happening I thought I was seeing everything coming together and that even the music for Spirit of the part two I thought oh, it felt real and I you know and I just feel like ah oh. but at the same time I thought well now maybe this could mean because you know um, dreams do have meaning but sometimes there are certain dreams where they don't have meaning but what I'm guessing what this dream could possibly mean is that one day not now but one day somewhere in the future there just might be a potential sequel to spirit now if it ever comes true if it ever becomes reality then great and I would love to be a part of it like I had these dreams of it so far and if it ever comes true it ever ever comes to happen where if I get to be a part of it to watch it from from the story to the animation the music and the cast and everything and everything just comes together I would love to be a part of that it was just that would be a dream come true for me because I'm just uh, a big fan of spirit I love spirit <laughs> and I would love that but I also gotta say in case if we don't in case if there won't be a sequel to spirit and just to have only the first then that's okay because like to me having only the to me I think even just with the first film of itself of the story to spirit I I love it and it's my favorite and even though if even if we never get a sequel at the same time I would be sad by the same time I would be okay with it because it's like well at least we'll we still have spirit you know like at least we still have the first film and from what I've heard it is a standalone film so even if it means to never get a sequel from it that'll be okay but I feel like I would have conditions if there were to be a sequel like one the animation has to be the same like it was the first it, ha it can't be like all this 3d animation you know no I, I don't want that and if they try to go I don't know I feel like if there are certain changes where if it's somehow not gonna be the same or let's say if there are some things where they want to change of this or that then it's like no so that's why I'm saying that and if we don't get a sequel I'm okay with that I mean yes I would be sad but at the same time I feel like I would understand if we don't get one but either way that's okay but yes that was the dream I had and it was I gotta say this dream was I felt like it was just this happy positive dream but I will say this even if it doesn't mean that we'll get a sequel but let's say if it just somehow was showing me that because I love spirit that that only a sequel would happen within my dreams but not to happen for real then that's okay and even if it means like that maybe I think this this is what could have mean too is that maybe there's gonna be this positive opportunity that will come my way um, somewhere in my life and that when it does it make maybe have to do something with spirit maybe not a sequel but it could be something else that might have to do with spirit or let's say if it has nothing to do with spirit but if it's just showing me like like somehow giving me a sign some kind of message saying there will be a positive 
um, opportunity that will come your way somewhere and sometime in your life but when it does you know be happy and excited like you were when you had this dream of the sequel to spirit and when this opportunity does come this is how you're gonna feel you're gonna feel very much happy and you're gonna feel just so beyond excited and beyond happy that there'll be no words to how like there'll be no words to just how very happy and excited I'll be when this opportunity will come my way and what kind of opportunity I don't know but I think that's meant to be a surprise so it could mean something like that too which yeah I, I would take it as that as well so that was it but this dream I had years ago I would say what when I was either 25 26 around the time BS and I think that's what it could mean that of that that there's going to be an opportunity that will come my way somewhere sometime maybe soon or even later in my life but when it does that this is how I'm going to feel like how I felt in the dream that I'm going to feel just so very happy just so beyond excited and it's just something that I wouldn't even know how to describe just how very happy and excited that I would be so I think that's a another meaning to that dream as well I believe so so anyway um, that was it and I hope you guys enjoyed this dream video oh and before I go I just gotta say that um, recently I did had a dream that I attended to an event of a movie screening event of Terrifier 3 and that the director and cast were there but when I do share that dream it's not gonna be now but it's gonna be soon so I'm gonna share it on Halloween so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, yeah and I can't wait to share that dream with you guys because it was quite interesting so yeah <laughs> so anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed this so for more movie content reaction streams and the paranormal subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.